Hi friends, welcome to IIT Starters. Today we will build smart doorbell using ESP32 camera. So this is the ESP32 camera and this is the entire setup that we have got. Now let's press this button and see what happens. So once we press this push button, it acts as a doorbell. So once we press it, in my smartphone I can see there is a notification from, from Blink. Now, Let's click on this notification and now we can click on this take picture to see who is there at the door. So let's click on this take picture. So as you can see the picture has been taken now and by looking at this picture you can decide whether to open the door or not to open. If you want to open the door you can press on this switch here and it will trigger this relay as of now I've connected a relay you can also connect a 12 volt lock or with this relay you can connect any other locks that you want and uh, if you do not want or you want the door to be closed you can again press this button to close it so this is a very simple project which can be implemented at home and uh, you can also try so let's see how we can build this project. For building this project we need a ESP32 CAM module, one single channel relay module. Here I'm using two channel relay module since I don't have a single channel so I'm using a two channel just to demonstrate. One LED any color, one register 330 ohms one register 10 kilo ohms one push button switch some jumper cables one breadboard one power supply you can use a mobile charger as well and you can set it up all these things on a PCB here for demonstration purpose I'm using this breadboard so let's go ahead and connect this as per the circuit diagram Let's see how it is connected. Uh, now we have uh, this ESP32 CAM and we are uh, providing the power supply over here in ESP32 CAM 5 volts and ground and then we have uh, two wires connected from here. One wire goes to this uh, to check the status of this uh, push button switch and the other wire is connected with this uh, relay module to, is to switch on or off the lock. The electronic lock and here we have given a power supply of 5 volts uh, you can connect any 5 volts power supply it can be a mobile charger as well you can utilize that and from here a power supply is been provided here 5 volts and a power supply has been given here so this is a very simple circuit that we have connected this LED over here it is optional this is an optional LED that we have got so if you want you can put it or else if you have LEDs connected here then no need to put. This is just I have put an optional to show you. So this is how it is connected and it is mounted over a breadboard. If you want you can use a, a, a dot board as well a copper board and on which you can uh, completely um, you can build it. Uh, pretty well you can uh, place the components in proper places and then you can design it as well.
so let's look at the code uh, this is the code that we have got it's pretty simple we have modified the code uh, default code which is there in uh, esp32 camera so you can get that code from uh, file examples and uh, if you scroll down and esp32 and camera camera web server this code is modified over here we have added few codes over here and uh, then we have modified it so here we are putting the wi-fi um, name and the wi-fi password to connect it with the wi-fi here we have added the authentication token and here we have created a capture photo uh, function over here whereas whenever this uh, function is called it will uh, initiate uh, it will make the led high that is the flashlight it will be high for a second and then it will capture the photo and with the local ip it will be sending it to blink and then after some time this led will go down so it will be for a uh, one second this led will glow on during camera will take the picture at that point of time and then we have the setup over here we have defined the input output and after that it all remains the same the code i'll not go into that uh, code in a deeper and uh, i'll not explain the code in a deeper way uh, it will be just uh, on top and tell you wherever the changes we have made on the code this is the void loop function and inside void loop we are running this blink dot run and then we have the functions remaining functions remaining code is here and whenever the push button is high then it will do this set of instruction and it will capture the photo it will call this function over here and then if the relay is high it will unlock the door over here it will be printed in the serial monitor you can comment all this and then you can uh, proceed by uploading the code so for uploading the code i have made a separate video you can uh, go through that video that how you can upload the code to esp32 camera using Arduino id that's pretty simple if you want you can also use ftdi232 uh, usb to ttl converter as well to upload the code so let's uh, upload the code now and then proceed further.